All righty. Happy Thursday to everybody. A uh, good week of practice, good week of prep, and looking forward to getting back in the Coliseum. And, uh, um, you know, uh, both a happy and sad to be happy to be back. Sad to have the last time in the Coliseum with uh, 14 great seniors um, that uh, will be uh, will be represented uh, and uh, saluting uh, on their last time there. So um, a lot of good men, and we thank them for their service. Uh, and we, we look forward to the last game uh, with them in the Coliseum. With that, uh, I'll take any questions that you got. Early updates on EA and Vavai. Uh, Vavai looked really good. I think he's confident. I think uh, you know we'll, we're still day to day, but I, he's really progressed, and it's looking more towards helping us this week uh, than not. And he even asked him today, and he, he's he's still confident. So if we can get through tomorrow um, and uh, see how the warm up goes for Saturday, uh, we may get some actual play out of him. So it's been been a good rehab process he's feeling really good about it really confident about it so we'll see where it's at Saturday EA not so much uh, he's still going through the running progression um, I, you know I think it's a long shot and he's still listed day to day uh, but I think it's a long shot to be honest with you is Bayless out this week? Uh, Bayless is, yes, he's got that high ankle sprain, hasn't practiced all week. Uh, I don't see him playing in this game. So does Stephen Carr go to the chip return? Or? Uh, r right now we're working uh, um, Keenan back there, Amon Ra back there, um, you know, Adonis uh, back there. They've all gotten work, and uh, Bax will make that decision. Have you ever had so many of the same injury? I mean, it seems like they guys have had so many high ankle sprains. Well, there? between that and shoulders, yeah. and uh, it's been uh, been one of those years. Uh, I'll be honest with you, as far as uh, the uh, injuries go. But uh, you know what? I, like I've said, um, you don't make excuses. You find answers. That's what we tell our kids, and they have. The next man has come up, and they've played well. Right? You know, and. And, and with Velas down, you know Kyle Ford is back up this week, and and we'll play him in this game, so he'll back up uh, Mike, and that gives him a great opportunity to to go get some valuable playing time. How about Chase Williams? Uh, Chase is uh, I don't think he's got a midfoot sprain um, that uh, I think is a multi-week deal. He has not practiced this week, so I don't imagine we'll see him. If you guys win this week, you will have won five of six mm -hmm. to end the season. I know Mike Bone talked about mm -hmm. this program finishing strong. Mm -hmm. uh, you personally, do you feel like that stretch has proven anything about you and about this team? You know, Ryan, I, I, I'm, I'm a guy that lives in the moment. And, and you know, right now the moment is UCLA. And um, that's all I'm focused on. And, you, you know, am I proud uh, of a football team that you always hope as a head coach that from day one to the end of the year, your team improves. And, and I've watched this team improve. And, and I'm proud of our coaches for the way they've developed young people and to watch them play. Um, you know, what the future holds, uh, that's, that's for smarter men than me. Uh, my job is to go out there, compete like hell against UCLA, try to get the victory bell uh, back on campus and worry about the moment. And, and the moment is, the focus is, is UCLA. This, this, this game's hard enough <laughs> to worry about anything outside other than the opponent you got to face on Saturday. I know, I know you've only known Mike for two weeks. Yeah. What, what have you learned about him and his vision for the program? Yeah, he's been phenomenal. To be honest with you, I, I I love his energy. I love his enthusiasm. Um, I love his commitment to the student athlete. Um, I, you know, and I love the support he's given me. You know, and, and this time he, he didn't know me coming in, and and coming in and, and you know being in the team meetings and, and being able to say, hey guys, man, we're proud of you. Keep it going. You know, uh, being at practice. I mean, we had our former former players out there, a bunch of former players out there. Day he comes out to the field, he's hanging out with us. You know, he feels like one of us, and, and it's been really neat to see. You know, really need to see. You know, everything uh, we're going on is on campus is a transition, and anytime you have transition, there's change. Um, and for Mike to come in and just hit the ground running and be so receptive to everybody, including myself, the staff, our players, uh, all 21 sports, I think he's doing a wonderful job. Um, and he has big visions for this place. Uh, and. Uh, um, you know, uh, I'm glad that he's here. I said it earlier that, uh, you know, he is, he's a guy that's going to do a wonderful job for this university. Uh, I thank Dr. Folt uh, for bringing him in. Uh, he's going to do a wonderful job. Has he communicated to you, win or lose, 
if or when he'd be meeting with you to kind of discuss where you stand? We've stayed in the moment, to be honest with you, Adam. I mean, we've just focused each and every week on the opponent, and that's what we've done. That's what we've discussed. Uh, mm -hmm. All our discussions have been about this particular week, what needs to go on. Um, you know, we've got, a, we've got a big game. We've got a big recruiting weekend. You know, those are things that we're focusing on right now. Um, you know, um, for us, I think you got to live in the moment and put your best foot forward, you know, so we haven't gotten into those discussions. It's, it's been about doing what's right for our, our players. It's not about me. It's not about him. Right now, it's about our players and helping them go to win uh, a big game and hopefully a championship. I remember in the past with Elaine, you had like a weekly, I think, Monday meeting. Mm -hmm. Do you have anything like that with him? Yeah, I've, I, I've uh, visited with Mike multiple times uh, mm -hmm. in, in the week. Um, and since he's been here, all three weeks, we've, you know, we've sat down and visited. He stops by. I stop by his office. It's, it's a really good working relationship. And I have to say he, he's an open person. He's an open door policy. Um, and, you know, he's been nothing but supportive. You know, I, I couldn't ask for any thing more, you, you know, in this situation. It's not the easiest of situations. And, and he's made it extremely comfortable, extremely welcoming, and extremely supportive of our team. And that's all I can ask for as a head coach. That's good. Cool. All righty, guys. Thanks, guys. See you Saturday.